Well, have you ever wanted to design like 0x100 crypto? Well, luckily in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can design and animate like 0x100 crypto. This video is very simple and everyone can follow. But before we do that, it would be really nice of you to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. So without further ado, let's start. Alright, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we want to create this coin for our first scene. So let's start. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the lips tool and let's turn off the stroke and let's open the fill color right now as you see it is set on gradient uh, linear so that is fine and the colors are just matching so this is also fine so let's just draw a circle like this so this is going to be our base okay this is good now let's just uh, go towards the gradient and we can just select the gradient type and we can set it like this. Okay. Now let's just go call it middle and I'm going to duplicate this one and let's just press S to reveal the scale and I'm going to scale it. I'm going to just push it a bit beneath and I'm going to call it base one. Now let's just go towards the uh, color tab one more time and let's just get the colors. So this is going to be the first color and let's just uh, choose the second shade. All right, this is good. Now, lastly, what we need to do is that we, we just need to go towards the type tool and I'm going to select it and then let's just write a dollar sign and let's just scale it like this. All right, this is good. This is the base of the coin that we have in here, but if I reveal the real as you see the coin sort of has a depth into it so we need to also make that all right this is easy let's just select the base layer and let's just turn it into 3d and same as the other two layers but the important thing is that as soon as you turn it into 3d we need to set the render options into advanced 3d so we need to set our render machine into advanced 3d or cinema 4d otherwise it won't work now when you open the base layer all you need to do is that you need to go towards the geometry options and then we can just increase the extrusion depth for um, for example 10 uh, pixels and what and what will happen if i start to rotate the coin as you see now we have some depth to our coin but let's just press Ctrl plus Z and what we need to do before is that we need to parent the dollar sign into middle part and the middle part to the base part. So when we rotate it, they rotate as well. Okay, this is so far, this is good, but let's go towards the geometry option and let's just set the extrusion depth into 30. Now let's just uh, use the Y rotation to rotate it. But as you see, as soon as I rotate it, we will have some jittering happening in here. And that is because the camera is not aligned. Well, to fix that, we need to press P to open the position. And then I'm just going to change the position for, let's just say, I think minus two should be fine. And about the dollar sign, I think minus one also works. So you, you only need to push it for one or two pixels. Otherwise, if you start to push it too far, when you rotate it, you will see that you will have a gap in here. So as you see right now, we will have a black gap in here. So I'm just going to set it on minus two. So this is going to be exactly what we want. Now we need to work on the back of the coin. So right now in here, we need to also make it work. So what we are going to do is that we just need to duplicate the layer. Okay, this is good. And then we're going to open the mm, mm, position value and we're going to just push it to here. So I think it's about 30 pixels. And then we just can do a quick fix. And if you want to, you can rotate it to fix that issue with the dollar sign. Right now, if we start to rotate, you will see that we have a small issue in here. And again, let's just fix that by pushing it out a bit. Great. Now, this is going to be our coin. 
so as you see it looks like exactly like the design we have on 0x100 crypto so this is good but now it is time to stylize it so this is the important thing now if you uh, if you pay attention in here you will see that we have a sort of light uh, happening in here and the thing about the 3d renderer is that if i open the composition if i switch into 3d renderer you will see that we will use a few functions such as track mats and masks and layer styles more importantly we will lose access to these types so what we need to do is that we can just do a quick trick to fix that issue and it is if i open the rotation let's just set it on zero for now what we can do is that we can just select everything and then we can pre-compose it and let's just call it the coin design okay we have it in here now when you pre-compose it after effect will treat this composition separately so now you can just add effects into it so i'm just gonna now add a yeah you know, for example a inner glow and then what, what i can do is that i can just increase the size in here something like this and uh, can just change its color to uh, let's say a yellow color like this so this is the one trick that you can do to make make this style better now if you want to exactly design this type of uh, light you need to go towards your circle tool let's just set the fill on solid and we're gonna set a white color for our design and I'm gonna draw a circle like this and on the next step what I need to do is that I'm gonna use the track map to to track method to the coin design and then I'm gonna reveal the original design as well and then I'm gonna use the fastbox blur I'm gonna blur it like this now on the last step you can just change the mode from normal to classic color dodge and this will give you the exact effect that you want and if you want to take it further you can just add the glow effect and this will just allow you to make it better so I'm just gonna set it back to 350 so this is going to be exactly like something you have on the coin design now the important thing in here is that when you want to animate you need to go towards the uh, coin composition so you cannot now turn this one into 3d and then uh, start animated so as you see if I start to make it 3d we won't, we won't have any more depth to our shape so this was the important trick in here in order to design it but as you see these designs are basically geometry shapes with a bit extrusion and lighting into it and this is just the first part now before we proceed to the second part of this video it would be really nice of you to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet supporting this channel means a lot to me now let's proceed all right and now in order to create the dollar cash i'm gonna use the illustrator for the design because i think it's more suitable to design in illustrator and then style it in after effects so i am in, inside of adobe illustrator and i'm gonna create a new composition i'm gonna set it on 1080 by 90 90 20 so let's hit create All right, so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the rectangle tool. I'm going to turn off stroke in here. And for now, let's just give it a color that is separate from the background that we have in here. So this is going to be our base. Okay, and I'm going to call it the base layer in here. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And then we're going to design the sort of the stylization for this dollar cash so what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna select the pen tool in here and I'm gonna turn off the fill this time and I'm gonna turn on the stroke so let's make sure that we are on the second layer all right so we're gonna just switch it let's just give it a black color like this and what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna draw a semi half circle like this okay this seems good but let's just work on it a better all right this seems good now what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna hold alt and i'm gonna make a duplicate of it in here and then i'm gonna right click on it i'm gonna go towards the transform and i'm gonna select reflect so this will basically reflect this shape 
now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select both of them. I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to make another duplicate. And this time I'm just going to rotate it for 180 degree. This is good. Now let's just select them. Let's just push them a bit towards middle. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the pen tool. And I'm going to just um, fix these no edges as you see we have a complete shape like this which is fine and I'm gonna scale it like this okay now we can as you see we can just change its color it doesn't really matter okay this is good now this is going to be our D let's call it just middle and now what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to select the ellipse tool. Let's just make a new layer. And this time, I'm just going to set it to uh, green uh, red. It doesn't really matter. So this is the base shape that we have for our design. And now let's just save it and let's push it towards the after effect. So I'm just going to click on file and then I'm going to hit save to save it. Now instead of Adobe after effect, I'm just going to import it. So let's just select the dollar cache and I'm going to set the import kind on composition. And for the dimension is set on layer size. This is okay. Let's just bring it in here. All right. Now let's just open the composition so we can design it better. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select them and I'm going to convert them to shape layers because this is important. And then I'm just going to delete them. Okay. Let's just start one one. So I'm just going to get the reference for a second. I'm going to paste it in here. And let's just move it towards a dollar cache that we have in here. Okay, so I'm just, I just need the colors. So let's just for now push it in here so we can see the colors. Okay, this is good. Now I'm just gonna select the base layer. And now I'm just gonna select the base layer and then I'm just gonna go towards fill. Let's just set it on linear gradient. And now let's just change its color. Great, let's just set the points correctly. And then I'm gonna select the middle one. Let's just turn off this stroke. Oh, it, it does have a stroke, so it's okay. And I'm just gonna set it on pure black and I'm gonna select the stroke. And I'm gonna get the stroke color, which is something like this. And let's just also set the stroke type to round to make it look better. Okay, this is good. And now we see we will have the dollar sign in here. So let's just set it on the radial again. Let's just push it towards here. And lastly, we just need to change the color. So we're going to uh, select the rotation. And I'm going to do something like this. Okay, this was it. Great. Now what we are going to do is that we just need to add the dollar sign again into our circle. And let's just decrease its font size. All right, so far so good. Let's just parent them. So I'm just going to parent the dollar sign into the circle, the circle into middle one. And the middle one into base, let's just call this one circle. And now again, same as the last coin. I'm going to turn them into 3D. And I'm going to give the base bit depth. So let's just go towards the geometry option. Let's just set it on um, extrusion on like 50 pixels. And then what we can do is that we can just rotate this one. To see if it works yeah as you see it works correctly and now we can just turn this dollar and do something like this okay but now as you see we need to work on the middle parts so I have mentioned before like you need to just push it about minus one seems to be fine so you we need to push ev everything by one minus one or two pixels so this will fix the issue that we have in here 
okay so this is basically it and then we can just uh, you know um, set the base and fix its position Now what you can do is that you can just pre-compose this layer. So as you see, we if we go into point in here, let's just uh, for now apply the reference. We don't need it anymore. So we can just uh, make it dupl duplicate. Let's just hide the coin, and then we can just slowly stack it in here. Now also we need to what we need to do is that we need to work on this style for this video. So again, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select them and I'm going to go towards the layer styles and this time I'm going to just select the inner glow and I'm going to increase the size to here then I'm going to just turn its color to a blackish color like this and then what I need to do is that I'm just going to change the blend mode to normal so now in order to design the light for it it is like the same so we can just uh, create a circle and what we can do is that we can just set its mode on the classic color touch and we can add a deep glow so when it's hovering like this in here we can just increase its size and we can just you know play with it so i'm just gonna increase it to like 1000 at this point and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna use a fastbox blur to increase the blurriness and as you see right now we have something like this which is quite similar to what we have in the original reel so on the last step we just can parent it to the dollar cash and we can use the position to sort of animate it from left to right so we have something like this at the end which is quite similar to what we have in the uh, 0x100 crypto channel and here we are at the end of this video and i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content thank you so much goodbye